How are you, my friend? How are you? Very good. You know what? Like I said, John, I just introduced you as the gentle giant. I've known him for 20 years, and I just mentioned that from the bottom of my heart. From those days of modeling to being a fitness icon and actor par excellence, one thing which has been there is you've been the Mr. Nice guy, the simple guy, the humble guy, and clean living guy. Is that why you've held hands with GNC? Well, uh, first of all, uh, uh, very good evening to all of you. And uh, thank you for having me here. I'd like to thank uh, Ashutosh, Shadab, uh, some of the team that's here, Vilu, Anjali, Ashutosh's beautiful wife. Um, Siddharth, so thank you for hosting this. And uh, just to give you a brief idea, I've uh, always been in, in, into fitness. I've always enjoyed being fit. And my go-to place, not because I'm standing here, whenever I've traveled the world, my go-to place has always been GNC. For me, it's, um, it's a matter of honor, and uh, it was an opportunity for me that I didn't want to let go of. And I'm happy that uh, I got a chance to meet Shadab. Uh, I tried copying his hairstyle, it didn't. <laughs> That's it called didn't. the Shaw Connery look, man. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, and then I got to meet Ashu, fantastic. Uh, I'm standing before all of you, uh, partners with GNC and Guardian. And uh, let me assure you, it's, uh, it's a fantastic moment for me. It's a fanboy moment for me. And uh, with GNC, it's like uh, a child in a candy store. Uh -huh. It's the only difference is uh, you're not having candy. You're, you're having healthy stuff to enjoy and uh, elevate your life to a far more healthier level. You know, so talking about candy and a little boy in a candy store. You, you look like a candy right now. Don't eat me up, brother. <laughs> look how I am into this, yeah, red jacket and all Absolutely. that. I bought it for this band actually, by the way. So, but you know, a little boy in a candy store. So how often do you consume GNC? Is it part of your daily existence? What is your modus operandi? So I consume GNC, um, on an everyday basis, um, I have, uh, I love the peptides, the whey isolate that just come to me the, from the raw collection. Um, I have my EFAs, my essential fatty acids. I have my multivitamins from uh, GNC. I have my biotin from GNC. Um, and everything possible that could kind of uh, enhance um, your healthy living lifestyle. So besides um, a very disciplined diet, um, and nothing that would harm me in any way. So if I told you to tell me your favorite GNC products so that I emulate you and copy you and become more stronger and fitter than you, will you tell me? Um, I would if you promise to be consistent. I promise you. What if I end up looking better than you? You, you already look very good. It's just, about, uh, it's just about being consistent with your diet. And I think that's very important. And I think the, this one can, uh, thank you Shada for putting it in the, in the room. It's the, the new uh, protein, just simply putting it, it's a new protein from GNC, which is absolutely outstanding. It goes down really smooth, it doesn't bloat you. And it's something that's so essential for everyday living. You know what, so whenever I step out nowadays, there's so many different forms of working out. Everyone has their own theory. Yeah. All right, and every time you follow a theory, someone says this theory is wrong, that theory is right. What is your fitness theory? That one mantra which you says, I have been following it, it works for me, and this is how it's going to be. Well, I think um, from uh, the little that people know of me, or whatever people do know of me, I, I think um, it's not just about what you consume, it's about how you lead your lifestyle on an everyday basis. I sleep by about 9.30, 10. I wake up at 4.30 every morning. Uh, I have a very regimental life. Um, my favorite is that I tell everybody that Kaju Katri Barfi. <laughs> it's been 25 years since I last consumed it. Um, I don't really have a cheat day, Do I'd recommend a cheat day once in two weeks, three weeks maybe, I don't know. I have a cheat day every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, it's highly avoidable. And um, of course, I think forms of workout are strength, TRX, functional. 
I, in fact, uh, I'll introduce you at some point of time to my trainer who's really responsible for helping me. Um, and I, I asked him to come here and join me at some point of time and I'll get him up to, sure. his name is Vinod Channa. And he's really helped me with my process. And what he does is, he actually travels abroad and we speak about fitness. And he learns different forms, like he learned balance sticks this time. So we learn different art forms of kind of enhancing our space. So we can come and explore and impart that knowledge to other people. So he's been a big value addition in my life. You know, but what I want to do is 9.30 in the night, you sleep. Yeah. When I end up stepping out to party, yeah. you wake up at 4.30 when I'm coming back home. Yeah, you I, I, I see that usually because when I'm out on a jog, I see people coming home who are probably a wee bit not in their senses. So that's the time I work when they sleep. Yeah. And you have cheat days once in two weeks. No, once in uh, six, eight months, maybe a year. How do you do that? How do you resist all the temptation of things around you? That means it's not only about physical fitness, it's also about mentally being very strong. Yeah, I think uh, um, it's, it's about being uh, mentally strong. I, I mean, people joke with me now. They say, it looks like I don't have any taste buds left anymore. But I think you can have healthy things. Uh, that are so very tasty and still enjoy your meal and still be fit and uh, not have anything that would harm your body. So I'm actually going to use this platform given to me by Ashu and Shadab and GNC to actually tell people out there that, uh, you know, you need to improve the quality of your life. And that's very important because most of you have young kids growing up. Uh, most of you who are just married will have children. Uh, most of you are going to get married. Um, I think it's important to stay fit in, in the long run, and that's what I tell most people, men and women. It's important to take care of yourself rather than invest in a good, good hospital bed <laughs> at a later point of time. So keep working out and just, uh, by working out, I mean play a sport, lead a healthy lifestyle, and just stay fit 24-7. So let's do this oath together with John. Everybody put your hands in front. Come on, everybody, put your hands in front. Let's do this. Let's do this. Say, okay. please repeat after me. Okay. We promise. We promise. My grandfather makes more noise than this, okay? Let's be louder. Come on, let's do this from the heart. We promise. We promise. To be healthy. To be healthy. Remain fit. Remain fit. And lead. And lead. A healthy lifestyle. A healthy lifestyle. Come on, come on, let's do this. This is like the way of maintaining a promise. Superb, John. Thank you so much. Uh, thank well, you. coming to you, first of all, I love the way both of them are so lean. Yeah, I mean, this is a great way to be. Yeah. All right. Uh, what is GNC doing to maintain the quality of products manufactured in India? Because it's a very, very big responsibility. So, uh, I think, uh, Siddharth, it's a very, very relevant question and, uh, uh, you know, just as there are a lot of myths and misconceptions about supplements, on a lighter note, uh, I would say Narendra Modi will have to work harder because there are also a lot of myths and misconceptions about made in India or make in India. Uh, but I think on a serious note, I want to tell everyone that if there is one thing on which GNC has a zero tolerance policy, that is on quality and GNC has been very very particular uh, as they chose you know India as a country where they want to be success successful they want to be successful through Guardian Healthcare they have been a part of the entire manufacturing process that we are setting here in India it's not just about the process it's not just about the ingredients it's not just about you know in terms of what and from where we will be importing it's not just about what goes on the label i think each and everything that will be coming to you from this table of gnc is going to be 100 percent when it comes to the quality mark as i talked about a while back one of the things that gnc does beautifully and most of these multinationals companies do very well and i was you know uh, mentioning over the last few days with some of the distributor partners and I, as I met them, every country is different. And, you know, the people who live in those countries are different. The needs 
of you know those people are different and sometimes you have to customize your product and that's exactly where you heard Ken talk about uh, product development this is where GNC is working you know and we are working in India to make and to do product development to do manufacturing and to bring the best quality products to the consumers in India thank you so much sir Ashtosh you know I've also been told by every person how enthusiastic you're about wellness, fitness, being healthy. So tell me, you've obviously ventured into this now. I saw your fire on stage when you were talking. To what level are you motivated to ensure that this becomes a trend-setting process for you? So let me say, uh, my father's right there in front, actually. See if she have walked out, but uh, if you see him, it's... Uh, Fitness, fitness, and more fitness, actually. It's fitness, fitness, and more fitness from our family's side. And uh, we genuinely believe the first company that we made successful was a pharmaceutical company. And health, nutrition is something that is uh, something that we believe in, something that we breathe every day. जी मैं बहुत थैंकफुल हूँ कि मुझे एसोसिएशन लाया जीएनसी के साथ क्योंकि जब भी मैं मैं फिटनेस में काफी मानता हूँ और अगर मैं कहीं स्टोर पे जाता हूँ तो जो मेन मेरा प्रेफर्ड स्टोर होता है वो जीएनसी है जीएनसी का मतलब जनरल न्यूट्रिशन सेंटर सो जहाँ पे मेरे न्यूट्रिशनल नीड्स पूरे होते हैं वो जीएनसी है तो मैं बहुत खुश और खुश नसीब हूँ कि जीएनसी आज हमारे देश में हमारे हिंदुस्तान में और मैं जीएनसी का ब्रांड एम्बेसडर हूँ सो आई एम हैप्पी सो हाउ लॉन्ग जो एसोसिएशन भी जीएनसी आई थिंक काफी सालों तक रहेगा पहले तो क्योंकि जीएनसी का जो पेरेंट कंपनी है गार्डियन गार्डियन में मेरे कुछ इंटरेस्ट भी है सो I think I hope I remain a brand ambassador for life. After fitness, after fitness, fitness mantra ये कि मैं ना तो शराब पीता हूँ ना सिगरेट ना कोई ड्रग्स दिए मेरे लाइफ में शराब मैंने टच नहीं किया लाइफ में लेकिन मैं ये नहीं बोल रहा हूँ कि सबको वही करना चाहिए लेकिन जो भी आप करें आप इम्पीटेशन में करें लेकिन मैं काफी एक्सट्रीमिस्ट हूँ फिटनेस के मामले में अपने डाइट पे जल्दी सोता हूँ, जल्दी उठता हूँ, हर रोज़ जैसे कोई मंदिर, मस्जिद या चर्च जाता है, वैसे मैं एक्सरसाइज करता हूँ। It's most important for me and I'm, I think वो मेरा फिटनेस का राज़ है। John, you know you're so passionate about fitness. Do you think perhaps you know a movie, if you make a movie on this topic related to fitness, how do you think the audience will take it and how would you enjoy it personally? I think I'll enjoy it personally. The closest I get to to fitness is by doing an action film. And uh, next year I'm going to do a full-fledged fantastic action film where you see a lot of the body and uh, you understand where nutrition comes from. But outside of that, I understand your question. I would love to do a movie yeah. only on fitness. Based on fitness. Yeah. Based on fitness. I have something in mind. Um, we've been working on it for some time now. Let's hope it comes together and we'll present it to you. Right. Also, Satya, I have a screening today. How are you looking forward to the reactions that you're going to come? After I get out of here, I'm going to find out what's happened. Um, all in all, um, yeah. we've enjoyed making the film and that's the most important. Satya, you know, you've been doing a good job, but you've been doing a good job. What do you think? It's a great song, and uh, I hope people enjoy it as much as we enjoyed it. According to you, what is the fitness like in arms in the game? In arms in the game, people have this misconception in life that you have to spend more money for fitness. But I don't think that's the case. I think you have to spend less to be more fit. Because when you have all the oil, 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 all the oil. And I think you have to eat smaller meals five times a day. This is simple. You have told everyone that you have to do all this. But what do we do in the real life? We don't do it. So, you should do it and be consistent. The most important thing is that. How do you resist yourself from sweets? I don't feel the need for it. I feel that if you eat sweets and if you do this, then your mind is weak. You will have to discipline your mind. And if you feel bad, you will have to discipline your mind. Actually, I am prepping for one of the biggest shows this year. I am prepping for one of the biggest shows this year. And since I am using GNC products for a couple of months, and it is actually helping me to achieve my goal. So I cannot 
take out my t-shirt right now so i'll be you know taking out uh, very soon so i'll be showing you my condition after using the gnc products kya baat hai but uh, i'm sure he only removes this t-shirt for his girlfriend and for that show all right yes. Let's do this. Come on. That's the spirit. All right. Now, we are going to do the official unveiling of the products. John is there. All right. I request all of you to come in front. I request our lovely fashion models to come here in front. Tali bajaiye hamare fashion models ke liye. Madam aur aaste chal ke aaiye. That's very nice. I like your walk. Love you. Thank you for Tali bajaiye. Thank you so much. You want to give this to John because you will feel better. John, that is it. There you go. Tali bajaiye aapki behan ke liye dosto. And now John I request you come in front. And John The green button. Lights. Camera action the official and winning of G H We are at a GNC event and we have with us none other than John Abraham, who is the most fittest person that we know. John, firstly, great seeing you. Thank you. Uh, John, first of all, we will tell you about your association with GNC, which is such a well-known brand when it comes to fitness, and now you are associated with it, so it's just going along well. Can you tell me? Yeah. GNC is uh, one of the oldest nutrition brands in the world. It's 80 years old, and it's in uh, 90 different countries. Right. So it's come to India. We are very lucky to have GNC. Let me tell you that. Right. and when you have gnc in india you must consume gnc products they are the best they are genuine and in a country where 70% of the fitness products are fake right. thank god for a brand that's come in and it's telling you you're going to get original products and i'm proud to be the brand ambassador of gnc right right john you know we like i just asked you that would you ever do a movie you're doing you're doing so much related to fitness everyone knows you are like the face of fitness when it comes to fitness uh, do you like anything different that you want to do perhaps you know like do you would have you ever thought of coming up with your own app you know where you where you will give uh, fitness tips or fitness advice i think uh, you know we honestly passed the stage of apps now it's 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 actors putting their stuff on instagram etc yeah but i think um, i'm exploring a way where i can get fitness down to the to the core of society right and by fitness i don't mean bodybuilding right. i mean just lifestyle and i think that's very important that's what's missing in india right so when i explore and i get something i'll do that but till then i'll probably explore a film right yeah uh, coming to that can you share something like if you ha- i know you can't share much because the process project is still in plans but uh what kind of a movie would it be and would we see you promoting like akshay did with padman you know he does a lot of socially relevant yeah. issues would that be would that also be one of, one of yeah definitely but i don't know what it would be because i've still not developed something i've just got a germ of an idea right and when i develop something at j entertainment it takes me 3 and 4 years right. think about wiki dona madras cafe parmanu and parmanu still running in theaters right so it's taken me forever this may take me some time right okay john because you mentioned parmanu i have to ask you uh, we are celebrating 71st independence day very soon uh, what are your thoughts this independence day any anything you want to tell the viewers about uh, independence day and how special it is yeah, i think uh, it's great timing that satyamev jayate is releasing because we're talking about corruption and we've handled corruption fantastically in the film right. but also very commercially so you get entertained it's to- total paisa vasool so uh, this independence day i just tell people to free their mind of corruption right right last question john uh, you know uh, recently a lot of alleg- like 
a celebrity i won't name but he she made allegations on celebs that we the celebs don't speak up about a lot of issues uh, you are someone who is very positive who is very open up when it comes to your opinions what do you feel when celebs talk about like the celebs main idea is if they talk about something it gets backfired on them because they are celebs what is your idea of this do you are you comfortable sharing your opinions on socially uh, socially relevant topics social issues well, i think uh, let me put it this way i don't think you need to spread yourself too thin if there is a core topic that you believe in emotionally invest in what you're saying and then take a stand and i believe you must take a stand on certain things uh, otherwise don't waste your time and spread yourself too thin because when you comment on everything no one really takes you seriously anymore which is what i don't do i don't comment on everything i stay away from everything if there's a socially relevant issue that i need to comment on i raise my voice right that's good thank you thank you on this one last thing uh, we are doing a raksha bandhan special so can you just share a special memory which you have perhaps with your sibling or anything just one special memory if you can share about raksha um, bandhan well no one's ever tied me a rakhi so i don't i mean i've never had that but yeah i can share the most special moment because i always wanted a rakhi tied so when i was really young my mom used to go and buy a rakhi for me and tie it on my hand when i was 6 7 8 years old and i think uh, you know be it your sister be it your mother be it your brother i think raksha bandhan is a day that reminds you that you have to protect someone you love right. so very happy raksha bandhan to everyone out there and uh, lots of love to all the sisters out there who are looking out for their brother to protect them